Let's see who goes first. Uh, would you like to play rock, paper, scissors, or That's would you fine. like to roll dice, or? Let's do this, why not? Oh, by the way, those giant dice that were used on Friday, uh... Pretty sure those were specifically primes. Oh, okay, and they're not the stores. Ah, you got me. Would you yeah. like to be first or second? I think I do have some bigger dice here. Okay. Oh, well, if he's doing that, then by all means. They're not sequential, though. That's the only annoying part about them. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's that's fine. As long as they show up pretty well. It looks like it looks like they will. All right, I get the glistener elf colors. <laughs> and if you'd like to shuffle up for a bit, then by all means. Will I adjust? Oh, that works. Okay, so your screen. Your play area, da da da, da. It's right there. Alright. Clean fight, no turn zero kill. Wait a minute. <laughs> Alright. What do you say? This is good. Alright, likewise. Alright. Let's do this. Lotus petal. Alright. Black. Dark red. So three black. Okay. Exile this for a green. Okay. Solid shirts. That was quick. Targeting myself. <laughs> well, for the, let's play it out for the camera. Let's play it so out. So targeting myself. I'm milling all your land. Mm hmm. Oh, he doesn't have a land, so. Yeah, you can just. That's what <laughs> there we <getting>. go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Okay. Now, so we do I've... we do have some triggers though. Some uh, narcomibas. Yeah, One. the narcomibas are gonna come back. All right. He runs a playset. Ah, uh, we have three. Okay, we have four. Okay. Okay, and then uh, this is in play. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ca gonna flashback. Yeah. A. Got one in here somewhere. Somewhere. I'm guessing he only runs one copy. I, see, I did see it. Yeah, there's the trick. Right. Only splash. one? Wow. Okay. Yeah, only one copy. That's yeah. what I was thinking. If it gets so. stuck in your hand, that gets a little bit awkward. So, oh. sack that. Sack these three. Yeah. We're going to target. Oh, this wait here, a minute. Angel. If it gets stuck in his hand, he can Cabal Therapy himself to get it out. Okay, That's true. there we go. That's true. We're also, uh, what is this other mana rock that you run? Chrome Mox. Uh, that exiles it. Oh, though. yeah, you're right. Um, yeah. Which, one, which one am I thinking of that makes you discard a card? Um, that you discard a land card. That's, that's Mox thinking. Diamond, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so, so I get all, Wars, all my zombies are exiled. <laughs> yeah, and I get all my humans back. <laughs> yeah. And there's a zombie. A zammy. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to pull you out. Somewhere around. Aha! Laboratory Maniac. Alright, so the way that these two work is that she gives, or she has rather, not she gives, she has, um, an activated ability. Tap an untapped wizard you control, draw a card. This one says if you would draw while your library has no cards in it, which right now his does have zero cards, then instead you win the game. You don't lose, you win. So he taps one of them, and if I have a response, he just taps the other one. Unless I have split seconds, like a which obviously I don't have a zero mana split second, but if I did, that's about it. All right, let's go to game two. Yep. Whee! That demonstration having been done. All right. And now I'll go to sideboards. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was saying to my friend before, before we, or out, yeah, before we got onto the Banjo-Kazooie sound effects, <laughs> was, uh, I guess one advantage to playing it this way is that since you don't have any earthly idea what I'm, I mean, do you know what I'm playing? No. Okay. <laughs> and the same thing would be true of an opponent of mine in a tournament. So I don't have to. I mean, I get to sideboard. You, on the other hand, don't. Now, yeah, yeah. I will give you this much, though. I do not have Leyline of the Void, so that would be a fun match, right? Mulligan to Leyline. Mulligan to Leyline. Mulligan to Leyline. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Uh, can't even pack that. Can't even pack. I will keep so hard. I think I'm going to mulligan. Okay. 
All right. Now, here is Ooh. why. Three words. Well, four, depending on how we do this. I'm a jerk. I am a jerk. Whoa. Okay, this is a little bit awkward. Let me, uh... <laughs> Whoa! There we go. Move the chair out of the way. Alright. Uh, you, and you, and you, and... Okay, that's something, but it's not coming down early enough. That's really not a card for this match. Ooh. Ooh, and you're also not a card. Um, yeah. How to beat fair decks. How to beat unfair decks. <laughs> That's that. Well, by the way, um, mine doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, it might, it might. I actually thought about changing this deck up uh, in light of some of the matches that I've had with it. I think that my particular version doesn't actually do as well as I would like. Um, it's a little anti-synergistic with itself, I think is how I'd put it. So. I want to try out another Death and Taxes. Do a six in Vancouver, Scry? Yeah. All right. I want to try a more traditional version. This is what I call EVA, um, which is Death and Taxes with the Enlightened Tutor package in the main board. Um, you're running an excessive number, I say excessive, number of enchantment or artifact creatures. They get around Thalia. Okay. okay. I will drop a drop a Caracas and pass the turn. Chromox? Jeez, imprinting, fly. Imprinting a Narcomoeba? Right, that's one down. Mm. I'm gonna get Taxi Pro, paying too much. One, two, three, four, five. Done, done, done! Basically, go off this turn. Yeah, if you can get the rest in peace, then I'll never win. Well, I know there's no abrupt decays in this. For a yeah. second, I thought there was. I think that sometimes when you go to sideboards, um, that deck sides in Force of Wills, if I'm not mistaken. Um, depending, I mean, I know yours doesn't have a sideboard, but I, that's one thing you can do. Okay, so resolve. I'm going to draw my card. All right. And I'll play reveal. And I'll do it again. Ta-da. No, that's not good. Mm. I'd still be able to do it. Thank you. <coughs> I can get up to two syllables out. Lotus petal. One, two. Oh my. I think I'm in a bad spot here. That's death right. and taxes for you. Go oh, black. Okay. Dark red. Ball therapy targeting you. We're gonna name rest Jeez, in peace. I wonder. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's a card that gets you out. Yay! And pass turn. I'm still gonna try to make it a little bit tricky on you. I'm gonna play Thalia. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Why go away? All right. Kind of does it, dude. Pass turn. Also, oh, I guess the deck can run. This top gut shot? Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah, gut shot might not be bad in this. Uh, <laughs> fast third. Cards to go in that sideboard. Leyland of Sanctity, Leyland of the Void, Force of Will, gut shot. We figured it, now we have it. Combat? Yep. Dos? Yep, yeah, puts me to 14. Spirit? Yep. Pass turn. Alright, no more street rates and Gitaxian probes for you. Unless you just want information about the one card in my hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to tighten the noose. It's a little slow. Pass. Alright. I guess Thalia... Okay. Okay. We're done. Graft Digger's Cage. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I lost... When Thalia resolved? When I drew this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's another one of those. You'd have to, like, try to go off with um, one of your either Balustrade Spy or Undercity Informer and then target yourself with Cabal Therapy. Yeah. Yeah. That, that gets a little tricky. So let's go on to game three. And are you going to be on the play this time? Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. 
here we go. As I can see, because Brimaz is sort of the anti true name nemesis. Not that it can block true name or anything, but you know how like Jace the Mind Sculptor and Elspeth Knight Errant? Jace is clearly the better card, but between the two, Elspeth wins. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's sort of the same way with Brimaz and True Name Nemesis. Um, if you swing with a true name, you're taking four next turn, and then five next turn, and then six, so on and so forth. If you're blocking with True Name Nemesis, you're either blocking and killing the token and taking three from Brimaz, or you're blocking Brimaz and taking one, and then two, and then three. Yeah, Brimaz is clearly not as good as True Name Nemesis, but fights in that way. What do you say? Hmm. Don't know. It seems good. But but no. Come on. Fair enough. Alright. So while he's doing that, this one is very clearly not as deadly as the last. Um, but, this is one advantage to running this list. Now, it may not be necessary. You guys are hanging out after all, and that might have been enough anyway. But, these sort of seal the, de the deal. If, if I get there. May not. Isn't it just great talk, trying to talk about your hand without letting the opponent know every single... Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Right. Good times. Also, I just realized how dumb the art for the card that's in the center of my hand is. Does it feel fuglio? <laughs> that's a dumb art, too, but no. Um, Phil fuglio, he just does some silly stuff. Six and oh, you're talking about the artist? Yeah, the artist, Phil Foglio. Okay. I was thinking about... What was I thinking about then? Oh. I think I'll keep this one. Oh, wait. Now I'm going to follow this one, too. Oh, boy. And that's why I can't make myself run a deck like that. You know, when it's hot, it is so hot, but when it's not, you're mulliganing to five. Now, granted, the, mull the Vancouver mulligan helps out a bit, but, yeah. you know. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. I can see, that's Josh's deck, I can see Josh running either that or something like Manila Stretch. Uh, we have a player around here who plays Manila Stretch. We do. Oh, nice. Uh, do you know TJ? I know TJ. Well, there we go. Ta -da. Yeah, TJ's known you for a while, apparently. Yeah. Uh, he wa he's been watching your channel for a long time. That's... I'll keep it. I don't know what... Okay, and get your scry on. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm sure I'm blushing. All right, yeah, back in the game. Okay, do your thing. I'm gonna turn, uh. G Bro View. Krakus, no. Cr this is what I said has the crazy art. <laughs> the guy has to say, <laughs> as far as I can, <laughs> with the, the face fake up and everything. I do like the promos. Yeah, you and me both, man. Oh no, Frickson. Frickson oh, yeah, yeah. Revoker, no. I wonder what I named with that. Oh yeah. Alright, Fester. Alright. Well, there is an old version of this deck that used to run a gemstone cavern. Uh, it wouldn't have been either of these cards, so it wouldn't make a difference now, but it lets you basically accelerate straight to turn two, which I think actually might be consequential against combo decks like yours. Pass turn. <laughs> All right, end of turn. Tutor. Seems good. Rip. 
<laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> now, one disadvantage to running Enlightened Tutor is that it kind of sets you back a card. Because now, it effectively takes up my draw step. Mm -hmm. There's a reason, however, why Mystical Tutor is banned. After all. That card disadvantage doesn't matter quite as much when you're going and finding the answers. Pass turn. Without a sideboard, I don't know how you beat that. It may be possible. But it may be. We'll see. Pass turn. Okay. May as well give it a go. Mm -hmm. Nevermore? Okay. I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Naming... I'm trying to think of any answers you might have. I'll just double up and say Dread Return. Okay. Pass turn. Uh, pass. Revoker. Lotus Battle. Pass turn. <laughs> think I'm pretty well not going to do much of this game. This is death and taxes for you. Uh, I suppose I'm going to end my turn. Put a narc of me into exile. Tutor? Yep. Cage? <laughs> If anything does get into the graveyard, <laughs> it's not coming back out. At this point, I guess I'm kind of just being a jerk. Uh, and I apologize for that. At this point, I'm kind of just doubling up. I, I guess I could have gone Phyrexian Revoker naming like a zombie or, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Vile? Cage? Yeah. I'm just going to put my hate answers over here, my creatures over here, and my Aether Vial over here. Um, Derp? Yep, it's me 16. Pass turn. And I think this is usually how these matches go, which is to say, the fair deck gets creamed in the first, finds the answers in the second, or the combo deck trips. I'm gonna put a Balustra Spy in the next one. Faster. Tutor? Mm-hmm. Tutor, tutor, tutor. All of the tutors. Canonist? Because the combo requires you casting more than one spell a turn. Yeah. I, I'm also kind of—I'll I'll admit I'm also just trying to show off the uh, the answers in here too. Well, in that case, in that case. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I also have a thorn of amethyst. I'm not getting it out, but I have a thorn of amethyst. Uh, this is main board. That is side. This is actually a main, as, well, as you saw, it's a main board card. Yeah, yeah. And there's a reason for that. It's not just there to fight graveyard decks, it actually does something else in the deck. And I assume you're just going to tap it again? You're good. Alright. Somebody on the roof? That was me. I banged my hand on the table. Oh, and, and it was kind of squeaking? Loud. I was squeaking, or I don't know. One. Well, you know that's there. Waste it? No, no, no. <laughs> that's not how that works. If only. Um. Yeah, we'll swing two first. Yep, that's my 14. Dahlia? Yeah, it's fine. Last turn. Okay. Draw. Come on, hallelujah, Jesus Christ. There it is. Oh. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> it's too late now, you got Thalia. <laughs> I should have backed up Thalia. I would have died in my upkeep, though. 
Yeah, pact of negation, bro. It's a cod. It's a cod. Sometimes I wonder if that deck could run Sunscour, but there aren't nearly enough white cards. <laughs> no, probably not. Commandeer is also kind of silly. Doesn't I love... Know. I love Commandeer. Yeah. That's one of my favorite commander cards. <laughs> Out of pass. Alright, um... Oh, I gotta discard. I'll discard this Cabal Therapy. Tap Ether Vial, for one. Not doing Jack anyway. <laughs> you know the contents of my hand, after all. Yeah, oh well. I think they did a really good job of making Caracas just look like a planes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this particular one, yeah. It really does. Derp. Swing in for two. Puts me ten. Fight on the ten. Cannonist. Pass turn. Right. Draw. Supposed to have ticked it up, but I guess I kind of got carried away in the, uh, the theater here. Okay. Green. <laughs> Cast Wild Cantor. Okay. Um. It's a blocker, all right. Black. Provoker, yeah, it's being a jerk over here. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Hey, okay, faster. Alright. End of turn. Yep. Whatever. <laughs> Remember Simba. Swing in four. Alright, yep. So, first strike. And just two. Yeah, well, that takes you. Yeah, eight. All right, and you be dead. Uh, Misty. Jay, you have a ether vial on two. Non creature spells cost one more to cast, anyways. I yeah, forget. That's <laughs> fine. Oh, Jay. <laughs> I, I am really. I don't play like this. No, I'm getting carried away. I know it. I know it. But yeah, it, it would cost one more. All right, Jay, stop it. Stop. I'm um, gonna find my cards. I've got Legacy Green in the works. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's. Let's see. And may the Schwartz be with you. Lords. Yeah, yeah, Jay, if you had tapped your ace file, you could be casting this this turn. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's it's true. <laughs> Alright. I swear, when I'm not on camera, I don't act like that. I really don't, but I'm, I'm kind of being the You're showing off for all your YouTube fans. All two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Past turn. It's going downhill like my YouTube career. Wah, wah. Oh, yeah, getting there. <laughs> Storm is one. Bass. Wait a minute, you can't actually cast it. Oh, not... yeah, because I can't play the one. Oh, man. You're turd. Uh, also, you could mishear that intentionally as I'm a turd, which is true. Uh, it doesn't matter anyway, because there's the land. Um, so, cast the sword. Oh, yeah, thank you. Equip the sword. To Revoker. So that'll make it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's Lisa the last turn. Yeah. Finally, yeah. cheese, Jay. <laughs> God, what took you so long? Yeah, me being, me showing off. That's what took me so long. So, um, yeah, the power of Enlightened Tutor, which was completely unnecessary in this match, but made for a lot of flair. Uh, no, in all seriousness, I like that it can find me answers, especially in game one. Um, there's a one of... I can go and get you this guy. Yeah, there's a one of Aether's One Cannonist to fight Storm. There's a one of Aegis of the Gods to fight certain combo decks and burn. Um, like, not only does this fight Storm, it also fight, like, slows down other aggro decks. It does. It really does. Um, I'm not casting as many of my spells. Some of them are artifacts, like Revoker and Vile, mm -hmm. and the Swords, and some sideboard answers like Cage. There is actually, I wanted to change this, but I wanted to also keep this 
the same as what I played against Punishing Jund uh, for just another time. Uh, you, by the way, you're a sideboard card too, and you're a sideboard card. So humility is just better than another card I sided out. That's mm -hmm. that's it. And also, if it ever sticks, that's another. Yeah, there's the there's Phil Foglio. Oh, that is Phil Foglio. Okay. Yeah, he does all the weird stuff. You could also name the card Phil Foglio, and it would still make sense. <laughs> Um, I was looking for it. I want to meet him. He's a fun... Like, no offense to him, but he is a funny looking guy. I take your like, word for it. Like, oh, he, he just minute. looks like he would be fun to, like, to joke with. Now, these are the cards I cited in. Graftrigger's mm -hmm. Cage, Nevermore, Thorn, and Humility. Yeah, yeah. But I cited out uh, Crucible of Worlds, which is a card that is leaving the list. Um, and it will change the list to a certain extent. The fetch lands will become just regular planes again. I'll take out, down, I'll uh, remove some of the horizon canopies. Maybe only have one or two left, uh, because Crucible is made when for when the game is going very very long. Mm -hmm. um, Crucible is what I'm bringing in when um, when I'm playing a control match or a mid range match that's just going on for a while. Or you can lock Delver. It, it's Delver is low to the ground enough this might not work, but if you get to this stage in the game, you can lock Delver out with Crucible on Wasteland. Mm -hmm. Because they run, or I say they, Rug Delver and Bug Delver at least, and I'm pretty sure Jeskai Delver as well, run zero basics. And so yeah. waste, 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 waste. Uh, I also took out Aegis of the Gods, does actual nothing. Your combo doesn't target me, mm -hmm. after all. I took out Batter Skull. That's true. Yeah. I didn't find mana either. <laughs> uh, well, with Stoneforge, that isn't actually as much of an issue. It's just uh, yeah. getting finding another slot for these hate cards. And then Helm of Obedience. This is a dumb card. If you actually can read Helm of Obedience and understand why it works with Rest in Peace and how it works, you yeah. win. You, know, you never put cards into the graveyard. Okay, you've seen this before, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah fair enough. Uh, when I first read that, I'm like... Put the top card of target opponent's library into their room. Continue to... What the hell is going on here? <laughs> okay. A little bit of an exaggeration, but because the card never hits the graveyard, yes. Um, because with Rest in Peace out, nothing ever hits the grave. It just mills the... It exile mills the whole thing. Ta-da! Yeah. It actually even gets the uh, Emrakul decks. So one reason to run Eva is if you want to have a combo in your deck to infinitely mill them out. Now, that being the case, Rest in Peace might be good enough actually to keep in the main board. Helm of Obedience, yeah, no. That card is definitely not... Get away, dude. I know you I want, know you want to be in the video, but yeah. Helm of Obedience is definitely not a card that actually is good enough in... Uh, on its own, I should say. I don't know, mm. like... I mean, I'm gonna take your Tarmogoy late in the game, you know, silly stuff like that, but yeah. it's not generally worth it, I would say. Like, if you want to run Vidalcan Shackles and you need a cheap version, there you go. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> uh, I kind of do want to see Vidalcan Shackles. Excuse me, Vidalcan Shackles on a legacy list. It's too slow, I think, but... Yeah. And there's too many creature list decks, but it's a thing. It could very well be a thing. So the sideboard is a bunch of singletons, uh, with the exception of Leyline of Sanctity, because it is just that good. Um, it fights certain types of decks too well for me to just ignore. Yeah. Uh, never more to fight combo. Okay, enough of that.